good morning friends uh, today we are going to discuss one of the important topic uh, which is necessary to understand sulfur cysteine is a, a concept of polymorphism and allotropism now uh, what is polymorphism uh, you have already studied in uh, solid state chemistry that uh, uh, substances are exist in crystalline forms uh, most of the time uh, substances are exist in single crystalline forms but in few cases uh, same substance pure substance exist in two or more different crystalline forms so when such is the case we call it as a polymorphism because the meaning of polymorphism is poly means many and morphs means forms so when pure substance exist in two or more different crystalline forms called as polymorphism pure substance when exist in two or more different crystalline forms we called as a polymorphism for example silver iodide exist in two forms one is hexagonal form same silver iodide also exist in cubic form so when we heat hexagonal form at 146.5 degree celsius it get converted into the cubic form or when we heat cubic form it get converted into the uh, hexagonal form cubic one and temperature remains constant till all the uh, hexagonal silver iodide get converted into the uh, silver iodide cubic form this temperature is called as a transition temperature because this is what the characteristic temperature for this system in which the phase transition of the crystalline substance takes place from hexagonal to the cubic form so this is the example of the uh, polymorphism now we consider the uh, case of allotropism when element exist in two or more different crystalline forms called as allotropism now uh, also one more example sulfur uh, exist as a sulfur rhombic form and sulfur monoclinic form same as the same is the example of the phosphorus also now there are two cases of the uh, allotropism one is uh, monotropy and other one is enantiotropy now uh, first we will see Crystalline forms are uh, not interconvertible, that is, they are unidirectional, then we call it as a monotropy. We we'll consider one example, general example. Consider that we have a solid substance A, so it has a two different forms. So, substance is A, suppose that it has alpha form and it has a beta form. And if we heat it at particular temperature, alpha form gets converted to beta form, and again, beta gets converted to the alpha form. That is, the structural rearrangement takes place and resulting into the conversion. So, this interconversion uh, of the uh, allotropes we call as enantiotropy. So, crystalline forms when they are interconvertible then we call as enantiotropy. While in this case 
suppose that if we have a alpha form and it will be get converted to the beta while beta never be back converted to the alpha form that is they are monotropic or the case we call as they are irreversible type while they are reversible in type now the best example in this case is uh, sulfur rhombic uh, converted to the sulfur monophenic at the temperature of 95.6 degrees celsius so why monoclinic get converted to the rhombic form at 95 degrees celsius suppose that we have a sulfur rhombic and we start heated when temperature reaches to 95 degrees 5 and 6 degrees celsius rhombic starts converted to the monoclinic form and temperature remains constant till all the sulfur rhombic get converted to the monoclinic once it get converted to the monoclinic again temperature increases so both are solid one but both are existing in two different crystalline forms so basically the polymorphs are thermodynamically stable remember this one That is with the change in temperature and pressure, there is a change in uh, physical form of the substance takes place. So this is what the case of the uh, enantiotropy and monotropy. Okay, we'll stop here.